Keith Brum Chocolate Covered Strawberries. It's all about the loved ones today, so let's get started. I'm Chef Champion. Let's bring cooking back the way it used to be. Welcome to the new age of culinary learning. All right, so now it's time to cook for your honey. Nothing sounds more romantic than chocolate dipped strawberries, but we're gonna twist it up a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of this delicious Heath rum to give it a really candy-like flavor, and then we're actually gonna dip some of them in Heath candy. We're gonna make a second version of this. We're gonna make some of these cherry delight crumbles. We're gonna dip those into as well, and then we're just gonna dip it in the plain old chocolate. We're gonna start off with a little bit of dark chocolate chip morsels. So the first thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of this delicious Wisconsin Schoesberg Creamery butter. And that's gonna really help give the chocolate a nice little glossy flavor. And then, like I said, like I promised, we're gonna add in some of that Heath rum. And I probably put in about a cup and a half of chocolate chips, so I'm probably putting in about two and a half tablespoons of Heath rum. Want a little bit more. Oh well. It's for your honey, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. So then what you want to do is just lightly mix this and continue to mix it until the chocolate completely melts. All right, that looks like that's melting very, very nicely. It's got a little bit of uh, chunkiness to it. You definitely don't want any chunkiness to it. You want this to be as smooth as pie. I don't know if you guys can get a, get a closer look. Your consistency, you want it to be able to run right off of the whisk, just like so. And if it if ever doesn't do that, and it seems like it's really, really thick, just put it back on the double boiler and just let it cook for a couple more minutes. But I think this is actually good. So now's the fun part. So if you're at home, and you can either do this two ways, you can either make this for your honey ahead of time, and when he or she, because last time I checked, Valentine's Day and all that wasn't just for the women, <clears throat> just saying, you can go ahead and bring them in the kitchen with you and do this part together. This is the fun part. So now what you want to do is when I had the strawberries, the first thing that I did is I washed them really, really well, and then I pat dried them with a paper towel to make sure there's no moisture in there. Because that water and that moisture in the strawberry is going to want to seep out to your chocolate, and it's not going to make for a good presentation. So all I'm going to do is take the strawberry and roll it in the chocolate just like so. And then I'm gonna lift that up, and as you guys can see, it's got that nice little drip. I'm gonna let that drip all the way through. And then I have a plate laid with parchment paper. The parchment paper is gonna keep it from sticking to the bottom, and I'm just gonna lay that just like so. All right, and then we're just gonna keep repeating the process. And I'm doing eight of them. Eight seems to be about a good enough for two people, but by all means, if you get a whole pound, you can definitely do that. You're probably gonna have a little bit of chocolate left over, but I'm sure you guys can find something to do with that leftover chocolate, I'm just saying. All right, now that I have a couple of them with just the chocolate, now once I have the chocolate covered in the strawberries, what I did is I took my Cherry Delight um, sprinkles and I have them in a bowl, and then I'm just gonna roll the strawberry right into that bowl so that it sticks to the chocolate, just like so. And as you can see, it's nice and coated. We'll go ahead and put it on our parchment paper. We'll do two of those. For those of you guys that don't know, you can find these Cherry Delight crumbles at your local grocery store. You can also order them online, or you can go check them down at Forest Field, Wisconsin. Uh, the company is called Country Ovens. All right. Now the last two we're gonna add, because we have that Heath flavored rum, I actually have some Heath candy. And I'm using the candy crumbles. If you don't have the candy crumbles, you can just take a Heath candy bar and just mash it with a hammer or something and get it nice and crumbly. and then we're just gonna roll that in there just like so. Uh-uh-uh. You put that in your honey's mouth, she's gonna love you, let me tell you. And if she doesn't, then oh well, I guess you got your work cut out for you. And like I said, you can play around with it. You can dip these in white chocolate. Another little trick that you can do, if you make a chocolate sauce, what you would do is take a Ziploc bag, Pull your chocolate, white chocolate sauce in it, cut a little bitty hole at the end of it so you can pipe it through, and then you can just drizzle the white chocolate right over the dark chocolate for an excellent, excellent presentation. So it looks like there's one more. I'm just not gonna stuff that one. I'm gonna leave that one just like that because maybe, maybe I wanna do something different with that one. So there you have it, your chocolate-covered strawberries with your heat rum sauce with all your nice fixings to go with that. Very important that you let this set Throw it in your refrigerator for about a couple of hours, and then you'll be ready to go. 
All right, so there you have it. Your chocolate covered strawberries with the twist. You know, earlier we made our Cajun frog legs, which we deep fried, and then we paired that with our jambalaya risotto. So let's dive in and see how it tastes. I think I'll try the heat one. Mm, mm, mm. And that's good eating. It doesn't get any better than this. Gotta love it, you guys. I know it seems like a little bit of extra work, but I guarantee you, your loved ones will love you for it. Always remember to stay positive in the kitchen. Know that you too can cook like a champion. That's our show. We'll see you next time.